Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and Pokemon fans of the world, Mega Crasher is here, and I present you guys with another hyped as hell episode of Two More Toasters! Woo! This right here is the kind of episode, the kind of series, man, that likes Subscriber Showdown Sundays, where it features your boy, known as Mega Crasher, narrating the hype as hell battles that you, the amazing people of our community, send to me. And it just so happens we have two amazing battles on deck, so let's waste no more time, let's get this puppy started. So we have ourselves a Generation 7 random battle. We got MT Benny against Guapin in a bracket, so hopefully I pronounced the name of that individual right. But with that being said, ladies and gentlemen, let's waste no more time, let's get into this. So we've got Eggron leading off against the Kecleon. Now is that going to be a Mega- Oh yeah baby! Mega Eggron in the house and it sets up rocks in the face man. And the Drain Punch to- Oh my god. Even with Protean Stab that does like nothing to him. And he goes for Toxic he's just like yeah I'm going to poison you right in your face bitch. Like I can just stand here eat hits all day like an ice cream cone man. Like Mega Eggron is a beast. He is just, he he is a beef, okay? He is like tougher than a $2 stick. Now we got Hypno coming in, taking that Drain Punch, and yep, again, Hypno is also pretty tough as well. He, he is no slouch when it comes to his defenses. So, knowing that, Kecleon withdraws into Dialga. Oh my lord, what's gonna happen? And we got, so oh, we got Seismitoss up in this bitch, so he's got some way, shape, and form to wear down that big monster, Dialga. We go for the Draco Meter. My god, that does quite a bit of damage, but Hypno hangs on very tough, and he goes for another Seismic Toss. So, with minus two special attack from Dialga, what is Dialga gonna do? He goes for Thunderbolt, that does like literally no damage. And he, oh my god, we got Wish Hypno. So, that means he's gonna be stalling this bitch out. This is gonna be absolutely amazing. Draco Meter does absolutely nothing, and thus further drops that special attack. We got another Seismic Toss going on from Hypno. He's getting that HP back. He's looking good, man. He's looking happy. He's He's looking healthy, swinging the pendulum like a boss. We got foul play going on, it doesn't do that much damage, and he gets roared out into that Obama Snow. Oh man, what's gonna happen here? What is Obama Snow gonna do? We got Flash Cannon, and Flash Cannon doesn't really do anything, despite it being super effective, and he gets nailed with that Blizzard, man. Oh my lord, speaking of Blizzard, it's still going on outside. Oh, it's so cool just me thinking about it. We got Buzzwool coming in with that superpower. E Easily cleans the clock of Obama Snow. Going to go through him like a plow. So now with that beast boost, it negates the attack drop, but he's still minus one in the defense. But now we got Entei coming up in this bitch. So what's gonna happen next? Superpower in the face, and that does just over half damage. So what's gonna happen? Flare Blitz. Oh, without question, takes him out, baby. So what is gonna happen next, man? This is getting hot, baby. We have ourselves Kecleon up in this bitch, so what's gonna happen next? Entei switches out, okay. Then we got Hypno coming in, so what's gonna happen? Got the sh oh! We got Shadow Sneak here, so Hypno switched into a super effective Protean boosted Shadow Sneak. So what is gonna happen next, man? Shadow Sneak is obviously gonna take out the Hypno. That critical hit was not needed whatsoever. Hypno goes down after a good fight, baby. So what is gonna happen? We got the Cradley, baby. Gonna waddle. Oh shit. And he's got the curse going on. Attack and defense boosted. Speed dropped. And of course, the Drain Punch. Oh, damn. That does quite a bit of damage, especially for plus one. I mean, my god. Cradley is definitely no sludge when it comes to defenses. It's quite beefy. And he goes for another Drain Punch. I'm not liking Cradley's chances right now, unless it has Recover. But he's got Seed Bomb. He's like, screw it there, Kecleon. I'm gonna take your ass out, bitch. So what is gonna happen next, man? This is getting crazy. We got the Aria Dose coming in, man. And we got the Poison Jet. Oh, Poison Jet, man. Just take out the Cradley. But then again, Aria Dose is Life Orb. Now we got Scarberry up in this bitch. So what's gonna happen? We setting up them spikes all day, baby. And Sticky Web, he's being set up, but it's like, he don't give a crap, man. He goes for a Sucker Punch. He goes for more spikes than Skarmory does, man. So he switches out and goes into the Kira, man. And he takes over 40% damage worth of hazards. And he goes for the Whirlwind. Uh-oh, this ain't good. We got Shinotic. Oh, man. I'm really not liking the opponent's chances against Skarmory. They're gonna have no way of hitting Skarmory for super effective damage. Well, with the, with the side, maybe Kiram with like a really powerful Ice Beam, but that's only regular damage. But anyways, we got Ariados coming in, and he takes a hell of a lot of damage, and that Megahorn wouldn't have done anything anyways, but it missed, just to add insult to injury. 
So Shinoda comes back in, and he takes a lot of damage from the entry hazards. Like, it's just a whirlwind fest up in this bitch. And he goes for the Leech Seed, so he's probably trying to force out Skarmory. But Aria Doe switches in and gets taken down by the Stealth Rocks, man. So now we got Shinoda coming back in. What the hell is going to happen next? Got the Strike Sap going on. Going to try to restore as much HP back. But, like, Skarmory is just a whirlwinding machine. He don't give a shit, man. So in comes Kiram, and Kiram takes a lot of damage. But we get the Leech Seed recovery, but not that much damage, man. And oh, that Ice Beam does so much damage. But now Whirlwind once again blows him out. So that means the next time Kiram switches in, he ain't gonna be able to survive them hazards, man. So what is gonna happen next? Can Shinoda Kang tough? Oh, we got the Substitute going on. But that's not gonna matter because he goes for the Whirlwind. And Kiram goes down, baby. He goes down. So now we have ourselves Shinotic against Skarmory. I'm not looking at Shinotic's chances, man. Like, Shinotic may be trippy as hell, but it's gonna be tripping over defeat if it ain't careful. We got Mega Aggron coming in, and we got Strix Sap coming, and oh, that does a lot of health restoration, man. And in comes the Leech Sheet, in comes the Toxic. Oh, man, it's only a matter of time now at this point, man. So what the hell is going to happen? He, we got Substitute going on. We got the Substitute going on. And that Heavy Slam is easily going to crush that Substitute, baby. So what is going to happen next? Yeah, we got the Leech Seed going on. But we also got the Toxic going on. So he is on a timer, baby. And of course, yes, he's going to keep Strength Sapping away, man. But the Heavy Slam, even at minus two, does a shit ton of damage. God dang, man. That's absolutely crazy at this point. Oh, my lord. So what is going to happen? Got more Strength Sap shenanigans going on. He is still re like recovering over half health with Strength Sap. We might have a new appreciation for Shinotic and Strength Sap, or just Strength Sap in general, man. Because that shit is tight. And of course, Entei now comes in in the place of Mega Agron. So what is going to happen next? Got the Extreme Speed. Oh! Taken down, man. And of course, we got the Effects for It's not going to matter at this point because the... Entei team wins. The team with Entei and Skarmory remaining win this absolutely amazing battle. Great game by both competitors, but Empty Belly gets the big W. So ladies and gentlemen, let's waste no more time and let's get into battle number two. All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to our second half of this amazing as hell episode of Two More Tuesdays. We got ourselves a Generation 7 Ubers match rocking up in this. We have ourselves RKO Rocks 137, so we got ourselves a Randy Orton fan. RKO to nowhere, baby. And we got Zakaria 1. Now, RKO is packing the likes of RCS. I mean, that kind of almost rhymes, but not quite, man. We got the Shiny Genesect. We got Solgaleo. We have ourselves the Shaman Skyform. We got Kirin White. And we have the Kyogre. Now, Zakaria is packing the Blood Sun himself, so Galio shiny form, we have ourselves the Tapu Koko in Ubers. Damn, man, that's gonna be epic to see. We also have ourselves the Greninja, or could that be Ash Greninja? We have ourselves the Zygarde, we got Eevee and Ambipom. Okay, this right here, without a doubt, is going to be a very interesting bout. So with that being said, let's get into this battle, baby. Woo! Alright, ladies and gentlemen, so we are so so golly leading up against the Eevee. Oh, snap. Are we seeing an extreme Evo boost? Nope, not gonna happen. He gets obliterated completely by the Soul Galio because he ain't having none, man. We have ourselves Zygarde now coming in. Soul Galio switches out and switches into Shaman, baby. But we got the Dragon Dance going on. Is it gonna be able to outspeed Shaman? And he goes for yet another Dragon Dance. What the hell is going on here? That Sea Flare does a lot of damage and lowers the special attack by two stages. But thanks to Power Construct, he's going to get some of that HP back, and he's going to be more beefy and bulky than ever. That Outrage completely destroys and annihilates Shaman at plus two. Ain't no way you're surviving, boy. But now we got Outrage with Soul Galio, and that does quite a bit of damage. And we got Z-Power going on. Oh, Z-Splash, baby. We got ourselves a plus three in attack, and that Outrage is not going to be enough to take out the Soul Galio, and he gets confused. So we got Zed Head, but gonna be enough to take out the Zygarde complete, baby. That was complete annihilation. We got Greninja coming in, and that Night Slash is gonna be enough to take out the Soul Galio, baby. And, oh, we got Battle Bond Greninja up in this bitch. So what's gonna happen next? We got the Genesect coming in, baby. Got that attack plus because of the download. And we got Workup going on. I'm not sure why he's setting up Workup in the face of the 
Genesect, as it gets taken out by the Technoblast, I assume that's like an electric Technoblast, I don't even know, but we got Ampipomp coming in, and that extreme speed, there we go, baby, and, oh, okay, we got Nasty Block going on, so what is gonna happen next, man, the extreme speed again, not gonna be enough to take out the Ampipomp, and we got, oh, we got Baton Pass going on, and we got Tapu Coco up in this bitch, so what's gonna happen here, man, the extreme speed is obviously not gonna be enough to take out Tapu Coco, even at plus one, and the Discharge completely destroys Genesect, so what is going to happen next, man? We got Arceus coming in. Okay, can Arceus take a plus two? Oh, he actually can, man. But what can Arceus do against Tapu Coco? Why would it go for Cosmic Power, you idiot? Come on, man. You should have taken it out right then and there. Instead, you got the Electrified Fried Chicken taking your ass out, man. Okay, so now we got Kieran White coming in. So what is going to happen next, man? What is going to happen here? That Dazzling Creamy Cream Cream takes out the Kieran White. Oh, my God. And now we have ourselves the one, the only Kyogre. Or should I say Primal Kyogre? So can Kyogre live a plus two discharge? Can it live? No, it can't. And there it there's gonna be an epic as hell Tapu Koko sweep in Ubers. Are you kidding me? Oh my god, great game by both comparators, but my god, I cannot believe that Arceus used cosmic power to try and set up on Tapu Koko. Should have knocked it with extreme speed if he had it. But what the hell, anyways, ladies and gentlemen, like, I always appreciate a good sweep, especially from an unorthodox Pokemon uh, in a very, very high tier. And in my opinion, Tapu Koko is kind of one of those Pokemon that you don't expect to see too often in Ubers. But when it comes in, man, look the fuck out. So anyways, ladies and gentlemen, that right there was a great game by both comparators, and that right there is going to conclude two more Tuesdays. So if you guys enjoyed the video, make sure you smash the hell out of the like button. If I didn't say this at the beginning of the program, man, let's say for 20 likes up in this. You want more content like this, make sure you rate, comment, share, share, share this video, and subscribe today to Mega Crasher and the community for the best, and I mean without a shadow of a doubt, my god, the best. Pokemon Sun Moon hype they can find right now, right here on YouTube. And just overall the best hype and entertainment. Filled with fire. Filled with that electricity like Tapu Coco with a plus two special attack. Filled with dice. Filled with everything nice when it comes to Pokemon types, yo. Coming from your boy, known as Mega Crash, because you guys don't know the deal about now, my friends. When we're community type packed on this one, you know that we show up right on the sun and the moon combined. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next up, though.